Yo, what is up guys, Flair here, and today I'm going to be showing you my bracket. I'm going to be filling out this NCAA March Madness bracket, and this is on the ESPN Tournament Challenge. So let's just get right into it. Um, start off in the Midwest. Uh, let's go Louisville, Missouri versus Colorado State. I'm going to go with Missouri, Oklahoma State, and Oregon. That, that, that could be a really good game. But I think Oklahoma State could actually go far in this. Oregon could pull out that win. I'm surprised that they're a 12 seed. This is actually my first time seeing all the matchups. I know a couple of the matchups, but this is my first time seeing the actual bracket. And then St. Louis, New Mexico State. New Mexico State had a really good game th yesterday that I watched. Um, This is a tough game, actually, for me to choose. I'm actually going to go with New Mexico State. Um, Memphis and yeah, just Memphis. You don't, you can't pick these two for some reason. Oh well. Uh, Michigan State and Valparaiso. I've got Valparaiso over Michigan State. Don't even say nothing because I'm a Michigan fan. Valparaiso is a really good team. And then let's see. Um, I've got. I'm gonna have Cincinnati beating Creighton. And Duke beating Albany. So now I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go to the right. Kansas over Western Kentucky. Uh, North Carolina Villanova. That's a really good game. Um. Dang, that's a tough one. UNC or Villanova. I'll just go North Carolina. Uh, VCU over Akron. Akron. Yeah, my bad. Michigan over San Diego or South Dakota State, my bad. Uh, Minnesota, I got over UCLA. Florida winning there. And then, um, actually Oklahoma over San Diego State, and then Georgetown winning there. Now let's go down to the West bracket. Gonzaga. Pittsburgh, uh, ooh, Wisconsin and Ole Miss. Wisconsin had a great Big Ten tournament, but Ole Miss, nah, that's a really tough one. I'm going to go with Ole Miss just because. <laughs> but if, if Wisconsin wins that game, I think they could get to the Elite Eight. But if they lose, then they're out, obviously. Um, Kansas State went in there. Arizona. New Mexico, yeah, New Mexico over Harvard, uh, Notre Dame or Iowa State, I've got Notre Dame, and then Ohio State over Iona, and then Indiana went in there, I've got NC State over Temple, um, UNLV or Cal, that's a tough one, 5 versus 12, that's a tough one to choose, Mexican yeah, <laughs> uh, UNLV, I'll go UNLV, Montana or Butler, I got, or wait, oh, my, my bad, it's Montana or Syracuse, so Syracuse to get that, then I got Butler over Bucknell, Davidson and Marquette, Marquette's the three seed, 14 for Davidson, this is a matchup to watch out for, Davidson could pull this off, but I, I'm going to go with Marquette, and then we got Illinois, or Colorado, I got Illinois, and then Miami over Pacific, so that's all the first round, now let's go back up to the Midwest, and get the Sweet 16, uh, Louisville, Missouri, uh, I've got Louisville, Oklahoma State over New Mexico State, and then Valparaiso over Memphis, I really like this Valparaiso team, I think they're pretty good, and they could pull off some upsets, which I, I forgot them in the Sweet 16 already, and here, Duke and Cincinnati, this is a tough game to choose, actually, for me, I think Cincinnati could pull this off, but Duke will get the victory, now, over in the south, got Kansas over North Carolina, Michigan over VCU, Minnesota or Florida, I, Ah, uh, this is a tough one too. I'm gonna go with Minnesota. 
there's an upset for you. And then Georgetown went in easy over Oklahoma. So now let's go down here to the west. Um, in the west, let's see, Gonzaga, Gonzaga over Pittsburgh, Kansas State or Ole Miss. Ooh, that's a tough one. I'm actually gonna pick Ole Miss to upset Kansas State. And then I've got New Mexico over Arizona. I think Arizona's not even good at all, honestly. They've really struggled throughout the year in tough games, and the Pac-12 isn't even that good of a conference. So I got New Mexico over Arizona. And then Ohio State over Notre Dame. Uh, Indiana over NC State. Then, um, actually, yeah, I'll just choose Syracuse over UNLV. That could be a good game, though. And then Butler. I got Butler over Marquette. Another good game there. And then Illinois, Miami. This has the potential to be a crazy game. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I'm going to go with Miami. I think it'll be really close, though. All right, let's go back up to the Midwest. Now we're choosing the Sweet 16 matchups. Choosing the teams to get into the Elite Eight. So starting off in the Midwest, uh, Louisville will beat Oklahoma State. And Valparaiso... This is where their streak ends. I've got Duke over Valparaiso. And then in the south, Kansas versus Michigan. This is going to be a very, very good game. It, it'll it be crazy, but I got Michigan. And, you know, I'm a Michigan fan, so you can probably already tell where they're headed. I mean, this is different, though. Michigan is actually really good this year, so you can't even call me biased for having them winning at all. Oh, no. <laughs> and then Minnesota versus Georgetown. Oof, that's a tough one. Minnesota, Georgetown. Minnesota, Georgetown. I don't even know. I've got to make these decisions, decisions, yeah, decisions really quickly, though, because I don't want the video to get too long. Uh, let's see. We're already almost eight minutes, so let's speed this up. Um... Uh, Minnesota or Georgetown? Um, Georgetown. Alright, go down to the west. Gonzaga over Ole Miss. Uh, New Mexico versus Ohio State. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm gonna go with Ohio State. Barely. Indiana versus Syracuse. Uh, <laughs> This is a tough one. I can already tell you I don't have Indiana going all the way. Because I think if Indiana beats Syracuse, they will lose to Miami. So I'll just do this matchup. I got Miami over Butler. This is a tough one. Indiana or Syracuse? Uh, uh, no matter who wins this, I think they lose to Miami. Um, let's go. I'm going to go Syracuse. Going Syracuse. All right. So now we're choosing to see who goes to the final four. All righty. Well, look. I got a one seed, a two seed, one seed, two seed, then four seed, two seed, four seed, two seed. All right. Okay. So in the Midwest, I will have, it's Louisville versus Duke. I got Louisville. I think they'll win that easy, actually. Then, over in the south, Michigan-Georgetown could be a really good game. Although, Georgetown, I don't, I don't think they have enough players to help out Otto, per eh, Otto Porter. But Michigan's got a few players to help out Trey Burke. So, that would be a really good matchup. Michigan's defense will step up, and, and you know Michigan is the best team at holding on to the ball. They have the least turnovers per game in the country. I got Michigan. Huh, you could have guessed that, couldn't you? Well, now down in the West, Gonzaga or I got Ohio State. Gonzaga won't stand a chance against Ohio State, honestly. I mean, Gonzaga's—they're a pretty good team, but I mean they're not in one of the best conferences. They don't play too many good opponents, but. Yeah, so Syracuse, Miami, Florida. Well, yeah, I got Miami. And then, so final four matchups we got Louisville versus Ohio State, and then Michigan versus Miami, Florida. 
Okay, Louis, Louisville, yeah, I just had a voice crack. Okay, Louisville versus Ohio State. Um, Louisville versus Ohio State. <laughs> That's a tough one. I'm going to go with Louisville. And then Miami, Michigan, you know I got Michigan. It'll be a good matchup, though. Uh, Trey Burke and Shane Larkin, but Trey Burke is obviously the better player there. And I feel like their defense will step it up again. And, yeah, you know I'm going to pick Michigan. So there it is. That is my bracket. Take one f final last look at all the matchups that I have. Both side, Midwest, South. Look at all the matchups. Yeah. And the uh, the west and the east. So yeah, that's all my picks. And of course, see, got Louisville and Michigan with Michigan winning in the championship game. So yeah. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, please leave a like on the video, subscribe, and comment with your thoughts. And all right, hope you enjoyed. Have a nice day. Peace.